Hey everyone, it's the Angry Honey Badger, and it's time to take a look at a quick build for Ziggs. As for the rune page you're probably going to want to take with Ziggs, I like to go with the AP page where you have magic penetration marks, you have mana regen per level scaling seals, you have AP per level scaling glyphs, and then flat AP quintessences. If you take a Dorn String with this setup, at level 1 you'll have 40 AP, which is not half bad. As for the Masteries page that I take when I'm playing Ziggs, I go with the 2109 page. 21 in the Offensive Tree, picking up everything that's going to help increase our ability, power, and all of those ratios for maximum damage. And then in the Utility Tree, what we like to go for is some extra mana regeneration and increased buff duration for when you get your blue buff from your jungler. As for Ziggs' abilities, at level 1 you're going to put a point into your Bouncing Bomb, which is your Q. Then at level 2, put a point into your Hexplosive Minefield. You're going to max this out second, and you're going to max your Bouncing Bombs out first. Level 3 or 4, put a point into your Satchel Charge for Escape Ability, and obviously to knock them back as well, but you're going to max this one out last. Then as for your Mega Infernal Bomb, which is your ultimate, you're going to max this out, obviously, at levels 6, 11, and 16. As for the items I like to take when I'm playing as Ziggs, I like to start with a Doran's Ring and two health pots at level 1. It's very good sustain and it's helpful for the damage. On your first few trips back to base, what you're going to want to do is pick up a Chalice of Harmony for sure and hopefully your boots as you do those some of those earlier trips too. Consider picking up a Blasting Wand or a Needlessly Large Draw if you have the money for it and a Fittish Codex. Your full build may look something like this. You might have a Athene's Unholy Grail, your Magic Penetration Boots, a Death Cap, a Zonia's Hourglass, a Lich Bane, and then a Leandri's Torment. Now, two of these items at the end, both the Lich Bane, the Leandri's, and even the Hourglass can all be substituted for any of these items depending on the enemy team. If they are stacking armor and health, get the Leandri's, but then ditch one of the other two and pick up the Void Staff. If you need more life and your team lacks crowd control, get the Rylai's Crystal Scepter over the Leandri's for the crowd control that it offers with its slow. If you really need magic resist because their team is heavily AP, then get the Abyssal Scepter instead. But other than that, that's going to be a quick build for Ziggs. If you have any questions, you can put those down in the comments below. If you're looking for a full-length guide and build to Ziggs, there is a link in the description, which will take you to a longer, more in-depth game over him and his gameplay. But other than that, I'll just see all of you guys in the next build video. I can also chase fairly well, too, right now. I'm going to slow him down one more time, and then I'm going to actually jump through the wall with my Q and get over to him while I'm invisible, hit him, which will crit him, and then use my uh, Ravenous Hydra uh, passive on that and kill him. So